Namaste. Very happy to be here. Uh, I'm Dr. Swamini Brahma Pragnananda Saraswati. And my topic is how living our dharma prevents, manages, and resolves conflicts. So when it comes to any situation or our perception of reality, there are differences in perspectives. And by themselves, differences do not create a problem. But if the person who holds a perspective thinks that his or her position is superior to the others, then the differences can escalate into disagreement, which can escalate into conflict, which can escalate to war. So in any case, we have to learn how to coexist with differences. And the way we've gone about it hasn't really been very successful. To coexist with differences, we require dharma. But we find across the world that there has been a decline in dharma. And particularly the Western sciences, which draw a lot from Descartes and Newton and Galileo and a few others, reduced the presence of God in describing laws of nature. And that has contributed to a largely individualistic orientation. Even the use of dharma or rather values is spoken of as based on choice and it was delinked from religion because of problems with the state. But on the other hand, if we were to contrast dharma and Western universalism, in dharma there is no sacred and secular divide. Everything is to be treated with respect. On the other hand, in Western universalism, there is a sacred secular divide. So in dharma, we emphasize duty, social harmony, the individual's responsibility, whereas in Western universalism, we emphasize the individual's interests and rights. There is a greater sense of entitlement, whereas the dharma worldview is focused on promoting respect and gratitude and reverence. So as we all know, dharma is the guiding framework for life pursuits, dharayate iti dharma. And it is always mentioned first because it guides how artha, kama and moksha are to be pursued. So then is dharma something that is imposed from the outside? Well, life involves relating and to relate, we need some standards to relate to each other irrespective of culture, geography and our histories. And what might those standards be? I don't want to be hurt. You don't want to be hurt. I don't want to be insulted or humiliated, nor do you. I want to be accepted and so do you. These are things that are instinctively recognized by all of us. And so therefore... This gift of dharma that we have been given and we will see that Bhagavan himself is the voice of dharma in everyone's hearts. That is just common sense, ethics, but dharma just confirms that. And therefore there is no Hindu or American dharma. Dharma is the cosmic order and it can mean any or more of all of these things. Largely, for this presentation, I am referring to dharma in the sense of universal principles and ethics. But dharma also means duty in the form of responsibilities. It also is the dharma or the nature of something. And dharma refers to rituals and karma. So then what does it mean to live our dharma? Samanya dharma. So dharma that is non-negotiable in terms of how we interact with each other. Uh, across the Shastra, whether it is the Upanishad or it is our Smriti Grantha or Itihasa Purana, uh, Yoga Sutras as well, Gita included, um, common values that are mentioned, Ahimsa, Satyam, Asteyam, Shaucham, Indriya, Nikraha, Dhanam, etc. So these become a part of the guiding framework with which we interact with each other. And 
the importance of dharma is highlighted across the shastra so whether it is bhagwan shri rama saying ridhista sarva bhutanam atma veda shubha shubham that knowing what is shubha and ashubha auspicious and not so auspicious that is established ridhista sarva bhutanam established in the heart of all beings vyasa in the mahabharata says yato dharma tato jaya manusmriti says that vedokilo dharma moolam and acharas chaiva sadhunam atmanaha tushtihi eva the practice of dharma makes one happy and makes one satisfied and content so what we feel has more to do with dharma than we actually think further the upanishad says dharmo vishvasya jagataha pratishtha loke dharmishtha prajaha upasarpanti dharmena papam apanudati dharme sarvam pratishthitam tasma dharmam paramam vadanti so dharma of course is considered the highest because it is the cosmic order and everything is supported by dharma so when samanya dharma lives in our hearts it helps to prevent conflicts because these are values that are already common to us we may cultivate more of it but as the voice in our hearts it flows into our many actions and our many roles and that is the beauty of dharma that everyone is gifted with it in the early 2000s an attempt was made in a seemingly secular way inventory called the character strengths inventory was tested and validated across thousands of people across cultures and what uh, martin seligman and the others found is that when a person is helped to identify what might be core strengths or core virtues then it helps the person live a happy life live a more connected life and i don't mean wifi and a meaningful life and so by recognizing what my core values are which is really dharma uh there is just more happiness and success and so what might be the script for the different roles that i play in life how can i ensure that what is done in a particular role whether it be of a parent or a child or a work professional moves the situation forward what might be done so that happiness and growth for all may be achieved how does one move forward well nobody comes with a ready made script about how to be a parent but the script is of dharma and so across our roles you know when it comes to vishesha dharma the specific dharma related to us dharma writes the script of what will move the situation forward interestingly a conflict is escalated when difference cannot be handled by us i like apples you like oranges i like a particular religion you like something else and i try to impose my view on yours then clearly there is a problem there is escalation if de escalation has to happen in abu dimbar's wonderful peace building map we will still have to reconcile with differences and how does one do that one coexist with differences only by the practice of samanya dharma so samanya dharma helps to prevent conflicts helps to manage conflicts and in addition to that vishesha dharma the script for our many roles is written by the voice of dharma that is present in everyone's hearts vishesha dharma also includes pancha mahayagya so this is very beautifully spoken in the vedic tradition the aranyaka speaks of it पंचवा एते महायज्ञा सतति प्रतायन्ते सत सतति संतिष्ठन्ते देवयज्ञः पितृयज्ञः भूतयज्ञः 
मनुष्य यज्ञ ब्रह्म यज्ञ अक्नोलेजिंग दट वी हैव फाइव सेट्स ऑफ रिलेशनशिप्स दैट आर प्रेजेंट फॉर ऑल बींग्स वी डू वॉट वी कैन बिकॉज वी रेकग्नाइज दैट ऑल दीज बींग्स are blessing us every moment so whether it is our devatas every day yatha shakti whatever is possible for oneself one can always stay connected with these five sets of relationships by reverentially offering what one can so deva yagna through our prayers our mantras our homas yagnas or just a casual conversation with the different deities that preside over different processes we are ever connected to the devatas and this is a part of my vishesha dharma how i relate to my pitras my ancestors who have blessed me with genes and family traditions and uh, property and so much more i honor them by praying for them by seeking their blessings by making offerings during pitra paksha or even tarpanam on certain times of the month and so on i am always connected then our uh, plants and animals the environment i am always connected to the different beings bhutaha so i acknowledge my connection and make reverential offerings to them rishi yagna the vedic culture the gurus the acharyas from whom i have gained in terms of mantras upadesha meditations yoga and what have you uh, all the karma kanda such blessing i acknowledge them and i make reverential offerings by learning by studying by doing my sadhana and by taking it forward and of course manushya yagnaha different atithis neighbors communities people who require help i stay connected with them by doing what i can for them the taitriya upanishad reminds us matra devo bhava pitra devo bhava acharya devo bhava atithi devo bhava may i grow into a person for whom the acharya is as a deva may i grow into a person for whom my mata my pita my pitras they are all devatas may i grow into a person that i can look upon as an atithi who does not come at with appointment uh, as a deva in fact the tagline of incredible india is uh, atithi devo bhava so i perform my vishesha dharma and i am always connected because i am looking to see what i can do for others and performing my dharma is not just a simple ordinary thing because when i am in touch with dharma when i perform my karma in line with dharma then i am in touch with bhagwan i am in touch with the total i am in touch with the laws of nature i am in touch with the laws of karma because dharma is a manifestation of ishvara and in the 10th chapter vibhuti yoga of the gita bhagwan krishna reminds us that all these different mental dispositions whether it is buddhi hi or ahimsa or tushti hi or danam all these are matta eva prithak vidha they are all from me and as you perform your dharma as you go through a range of emotions and mental dispositions you are experiencing me you are in touch with me because you are in touch with dharma and that is a manifestation of me and so by living our dharma our samanya dharma our vishesha dharma it is elevating our karma to worship यत प्रवृत्तिर्भूतांगीताकॉर्डिंग टू द गीता स्वकर्मणात अभ्यर्च दट मे यू पर्फॉर्म युअर स्वकर्म एज वर्शिप 
How come? You better do puja. No, no, you may do puja as well. But whatever you do, you are in touch with that from which everything has come. You are always in touch with that by which everything is sustained. Yena sarva midam tatam. So by performing your swadharma, you are performing puja throughout your day. And here we understand Swadharma as a combination of Samanya Dharma that's non-negotiable in terms of respect and dignity and embodying all the values. Our Vishesha Dharma, Dharma most specific to me in terms of age and stage of life, uh, uh, alongside the Gunas and Pancha Mahayagnya, plus given the unique talents and skills I have, what is the change I want to contribute to the world? So dharma, by living it, we are able to prevent conflicts, manage conflicts and resolve conflicts. Dharmo rakshati, rakshitaha. The ones who protect dharma, the ones in whom dharma is alive, that is a dharmi, is the one who protects this cosmic order that is indeed a manifestation of Bhagavan. Om Tatsat.